Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Oh my god, you guys. I have some exciting news to share. Now, if any of y'all guys know Emma in my store, she has just been, oh my gosh, a nightmare. I was working, right? I was working the other day and I was uh i was helping this customer out at the till and i we have like a steel grated door for our back room and my manager like ran out i could hear her steps like behind the wall it was so scary she scared me and she ran out and she's like emma quit i was like what <laughs> guys emma quit emma is gone well for now she's gonna be gone she's gonna be leaving on november 9th which is a joyous day um but yeah she's officially gone i'm so happy you have no idea for any of you guys who have been here for a while you know i i i'm just so happy i'm so excited i'm so glad that she's gonna be gone uh apparently they had like um i guess she like found a new job but it was so funny because like i was having like lunch one day and i like looked over and i, I like i don't like in true but like her phone was like right beside me and it just like popped on so i just kind of like glanced over and i saw that she was getting like still like indeed notifications so that makes sense now um but yeah she's gone uh for now i haven't seen her yet but she will be here still until november 9th and i would love to be able not love but like it would be so good to become the new assistant manager um, and even get some like management skills like under my belt or something it would be crazy but you guys I just wanted to say that really quickly because if you guys have been here for a bit and you love listening to the stories about Emma guys she's gone she's gonna be gone and I'm so happy maybe we'll get in another story or two like the next couple of days that I'm working with her um but you guys she's gone happy halloween i told my old manager and he was like oh with joyful news the wicked witch of the west is leaving <laughs> happy halloween i was like <laughs> i was like oh my god that's so mean first off but like very true it's so true um oh my gosh but yeah you guys halloween is almost happening it's almost here i'm so freaking excited i have been so freaking busy um so i will have a big build for halloween um if so if you guys have any spooky stories that you guys want to share or tell me um you can even uh, direct message me on instagram i will be doing some ghost stories as i do this build on halloween um so i'm really looking forward to it so if you do want to let me know you can totally pin it in the comments or even just direct message me um because i think it would be really fun but what are you guys going for halloween as because i have no idea i'm off on halloween which i'm actually kind of happy about but i don't think i'm gonna be getting a lot of kids so i'm not too sure but we'll see uh but today you guys obviously we're already like three minutes in and i have to like tell you now about what i'm building so <laughs> i so this guy is gonna be like our generations home and it's not for any particular like challenge or anything like that um but i did want to say that it does have a lot of like obviously japanese insp inspiration but then there's also some like english like cottage tudor style home uh windenburg feel you know what i'm saying and there's a lot um <laughs> i think i went a little overboard with the backyard um for a lot of you who know me, I like to do a lot of um, exterior work, um, but when it comes to the inside of the house, I like to keep it kind of like, um, you know, like little is more for me, you know, but I love it when people do any sort of clutter. I even explained this like when I was doing a live, I was like, I love it when people use any sort of clutter when it comes to their builds because it's actually just really beautiful and it can really bring like a room to life. But for me, I find that if I do use a lot of clutter, I get carried away and it takes me years so <laughs> and I I get kind of overwhelmed like when I have a, a house in real life I would love to have like an open concept house so I don't know well I I think the inside I did was pretty okay like everything is laid out really well it does have a lot of like like I said Japanese inspiration towards it um, and I don't build a lot of like family homes 
And I wanted to do that because I usually am known for building just crazy things and I need to kind of branch branch a little bit you know you know what I'm saying I need to like branch a little bit because if I want to make more diverse content I need to slowly start making less 64 by 64 builds or 50 by 54 like you know what I'm saying so I hope that you guys like the house I actually had a really fun time making it the backyard was probably one of the weirdest backyards that I've ever made it's definitely unique um but there's a place where you can kind of like, um, what is it, like meditate. Um, there's like a rock garden in the back where your kids can go and watch um, movies. There's a tree house. I just kind of figured like, it's a Japanese family, but I feel like it's kind of half and half. Like you have like another nationality with that family that keeps it that more like, um, like English kind of style like UK home so I I kind of like to kind of mix the two I tried to not make it too too Japanese um but obviously as you're probably looking around it does look like it it looks like I did add a lot and I probably at some points did get carried away because I love snowy escape I I think it is such a beautiful pack if any of you guys ever wanted to know what kind of like expansion packs or game packs that I would totally recommend um snowy escape is definitely like up there for sure I don't know maybe should I do a tier list because that would be kind of fun. I see a lot of people doing it. I also want to do a challenge because I've had like, <laughs> I've had like four concussions. Okay. Don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. But I've had like four concussions. I'm good. Uh, maybe, but I have a horrible memory. So I think it'd be really fun to do a challenge where we look at a picture of a house and I look at that picture and I look at it for maybe like 10 seconds and I try and recreate it in The Sims. And then when we move on to like the interior, then I would look at another like a uh, picture of like an interior like kitchen or something. And then we make the kitchen. Um, so I think that would actually be a really, really fun um, challenge. It's definitely scary for me. So maybe I should even just put it as like a, a Halloween video as well. Cause that is terrifying, <laughs> especially with the type of brain I have. It's really bad. Like. I remember one time I was in high school, no, I was in grade eight and I remember I was being uh, in class and there was something I forgot to do and my teacher at the time, he was so like, I liked him, he was great, um, but he like made a comment like right out of the blue and he was like, Jamie, he's like, if you didn't have your head attached to it, you would lose it, honestly. And I was like, <gasps> I was like, <gasps> rude. I. <laughs> That wasn't very nice. So obviously, as like I'm in elementary school, I got so sad. I like went home and I was like telling my mom. I was like, Mom, my teacher, he told me that I'm... <laughs> I, he wasn't wrong, honestly, but at the time. You're like a kid. You're like, how could he say that to me? So I thought it was really funny. Um, but honestly, I probably would lose my head if it wasn't attached to it. I'm so bad. You guys, I'm so scared for like when I get old or something, I'm going <laughs> to... I'm gonna just forget everything I don't want that um, but I I'm just you know I'm all over the place especially when there's so much going on right now um, like since the ASM did move like she's Emma's gone soon so who's gonna be taking her spot and I have told them for like almost two years now like I would be great fit to be an ASM everyone on the team is like Jamie you got this you could be an ASM and I'm like yeah yeah I got this but <laughs> I'm like I don't know like where their head is at and I've definitely you know told them and my numbers and the way like I am like the top team lead like it, it should be a thing but who knows you know it wasn't meant to be it wasn't meant to be it's just the way it is but I want uh, to do way more YouTube so I have a lot of challenges in mind I'm just nervous that they won't do well because people subscribed originally for my builds so if I start doing like challenges and stuff like that it's kind of like 
it's almost like a little science experiment, like a social science experiment. I'm kind of like, how will this work if I posted this or if people will like it? I'm not sure. So if you are interested in seeing me do some more challenges um, or even fixer uppers or something like that, I am so down, girl. Like I am so down. I <laughs> So I, I would love to do that. I want to do, I think I did say that for my Halloween build, I did want to do some sort of like Harry Potter themed um, like city or village or something like that um maybe I'm, I'm 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 still on the fence i haven't even started like making it yet because this one has taken me actually quite a while i don't know why it took me so long it took me about uh seven or eight hours to do um but I, 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 I'm kind of on the fence. I don't know. Do you guys like this build? I'm not sure. I'm kind of on the fence because I don't make family homes that often. And I want to make them look unique. But there's only so much your girl can do or any creators that can do. Like, you really got to think out the box. And I tip my absolute top hat off of to the creators who can do stuff like that. That is, I'm, I'm just like absolutely floored. Especially the shell builds that I did. So I just recently did a shell build with these, um with the subscribers here and also the followers here on Instagram that I have. And if you want to know all my socials down below, girl, I am there at the bottom. And I also wanted to say thank you so freaking much, you guys, for 7,000 subscribers. That is so sweet. Thank you so freaking much. I think I just passed 600 followers on, uh, on, or we're almost at 700 followers, sorry, on Instagram. So almost 700 on Instagram, 7K on YouTube. Look at that. So <laughs> I do post a lot of my builds on there and I also do post a lot of like room builds that I do. And I'm thinking that since last month I did like the shell challenge of like an actual home, I want to maybe do this time as a room build. And I think that would be a lot of fun. Uh, so and I feel like a lot more people would actually want to participate in it because it's not like this giant three-story home with the weird walls and you know, like so you don't have to worry about any of that kind of thing. Um, but I would love to do that. I just need to figure out what to do. But let me know. I let, 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 let your girl know. And also, you guys, today I just got back from work. I'm all over the place. Sorry. Things are popping in my head. Maybe I have ADHD. I'm just going through one thought through another. Um, <laughs> so today I was at work and we have these advent calendars and they're very popular. We are like the number one store um, in Canada who sells out like of them like a lot. So they're like a really popular item and we only had like, what was it, like four left today. And this lady walks in and I go, hi, like, how are you? Just letting you know, you know, I was telling her the deals and then she goes, oh, okay, thank you. She's like, I actually was like looking to get, um, one of the, uh, uh five of the advent calendars. And I was like, oh my God, I'm like five. <laughs> and me and my like coworker looked at each other cause they're like over a hundred dollars each. And I was like, wow. I'm like, okay. Um, I only have four. Oh no. At first I only saw three. I was like, oh, I only have three. Do you want to do three today? And maybe like two online. And she was like, um, or we could like give you a call when we get something in. And she was like, oh no, no, it's okay. Like, I'll just like do it online. And I was like, okay, yeah, no worries. So then I kept like looking around and I found another calendar and I was like, oh, I'm like, I see four. There's four here. Do you want four? Um, do you want to do that today? If it, It's up to you. I just found another one and she goes, oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Then I'll do four. And I was like, oh, okay, great. So I am like, I'm like, oh my God, this is going to be great. This is going to be a good sale. Like, um, we're going to hopefully get closer to target today. Like it'll be just kind of nice, you know, which makes everyone happy because we don't have to get stressed out by management. And speaking of management, my older like manager, not Emma, but like the other girl, she like still comes into the store and like touches everything and moves things around. I'm like, girl, I'm like, you ain't even like our manager anymore. What are you doing? I thought you had like a very important job. What are you doing in this store? Oh, it's just crazy. But anyway, so she came in and uh, she, I, I grabbed all the advent calendars and um, I brought them over to the till and I just started like checking them out. I'm like, oh my God, this is almost like $700 worth of product. I'm like, this woman is ballin'. That is what she's doing. She is ballin' today. And me and my coworker, we just like looked at each other. We're like, okay, this is good because 
like we need to make target today because we get like bonuses if we go over a certain amount and your girl's broke so uh, we like some money, you know, <laughs> so I as I was doing it I was like putting them in the boxes and I'm like, okay, here's your total. She puts down her card. And she pays for it now Right after she does that she goes now. Is that with the 25% off? and my heart just like sank and the reason for that is because the deal only is on like single items and I told her like in the beginning when I said hi how are you just letting you know this and this and this I told her that the the deal is only on um, single items not on like um, gift sets or or anything like that calendars anything and so she was like okay like she she like when I told her in the beginning and then once after she did that and she's like oh did, was that with the 25 I was like huh <laughs> No, no, um, I, I was just like, oh, no, it wasn't like I was trying to keep cool because I was like, oh, no, because my heart sinks because like when it happens, when when customers find out like if they weren't listening properly or we didn't say it loud enough, like a lot of the times when they do purchase something and then they like, oh, about the deal, was it, you know, attached to it seven times out of 10, they want a refund. <laughs> That is a very bad number considering the fact that that was almost a $700 transaction. And our targets aren't like that high, but it is high. Like that would have been like half of our target for the day. And it wasn't even like 10 o'clock. Like it was pretty early and we're open until late. Right. So, um, so when I told her, I was like, Oh no, like that's, that's a part of, um, just like, uh, single items that's not on gift sets and then she goes no but online it says that you get um a discount on it and i was like what i i said uh, i mean the advent calendars they never really do any deals on those I, I said we were never told by anyone um but you know we can we can check online but i can assure you like we we don't have any deals going on for those guys because they're already kind of marked down like they're almost like over $300 and you're getting them for over a hundred dollars like it's already kind of marked down so that's why they don't add extra discounts on top of them and so we looked and like when you type it in it will say like 25 off this or 20 or 30 off this and this and that and there was one section that showed like a percentage off of the gift sets and when you press on it, it just showed the regular prices of the products. And then it says like, oh, use this code to get that percentage off. So I like looked at it and I was like, okay, like what is this what I'm trying to look for? And I like type it in and the price of the product never changed. And it stayed at that like that number. And I go, okay, well that's weird then because if it's saying something and it's not showing up on the website and it's not changing because of the code, is there like a glitch or if there's some like kind of issue I'm like that doesn't make any sense so when we saw that I was like okay do you mind if I call my manager just to kind of ask her and let her know like kind of what's going on in this situation because it's a lot of money and I just don't want to mess with anything and she was like oh yeah for sure like just call her you can and I was like great thank you so I was calling my manager about it and I was telling her um and she was like yeah no like they shouldn't have done like there's nothing there um it says like on the terms and conditions that it's excluding like gift sets and this and that and da 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 da, da. so I'm I, I told her I was like okay Okay. Um, and I was sending her photos back and forth about like it's showing like a percentage off of the the gift sets and she was like no like you know it shouldn't be a thing and I was like okay and then I was trying to tell the lady I was like well if it says here like um, you know we need she's, my manager said that we need proof and yes it does say like it right there but when you press on it she said if it doesn't show online that it's showing that discounted price we can't match it um, and I was like, okay, but if it says it on the website, then shouldn't you honor it if it says on the, the website, like that should be a thing. And so anyway, like as we were talking, the lady was like, you know what, like I'll just do it like online and I'll just do it there because like I have it on my phone. I have this, da, 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 da. and I was like, like I can try and honor it for you. She's like, no, I'm on break right now. Like I have to go, um, you know, I'll just return it and just get these uh, other two items that she got. And I was like, 
clenching my teeth because I was like, oh, I'm like, no, we <laughs> lost out on this sale. This is awful. So I was just like, okay, like, let's go. And she's like, yeah, sorry. And I was like, no, no, it's okay. It's fine. It's good. We, we don't know what's happening with the website. I don't know what's going on. So she had that happen and uh, we gave it back to her and it was just... Oh, it was it was sad because we had to take out like all four of them and they were just like oh so I I was so sad and I was telling my manager and she was like you know like we got to be like confident and I was like girl I was I was telling her everything I was even showing her like I was even putting it in my basket trying to do the the sales like we even tried to uh, press on it there was nothing like I even tried to tell her like this and that I was just trying to like you know just kind of back myself up right and so as I left the store because I was done work Oh wait, no, sorry. After that, I did redeem myself. I did so I did sell uh, two more after that. So I did get about like four, almost four hundred dollars for that. So I kind of got some money back, but it still stings a little because that was like a big chunk of money that we kind of missed out on. And so I left the store, and I went over to Sephora because I needed to go grab like some like stuff. And my manager calls me and she's like, you'll never guess what like I found. And I was like, why? What's up? And she says, apparently the codes are a thing. Like you can get a discount on those calendars. You just like they screwed up. And I was like, no freaking way. And she goes, yeah, like we could have honored it. But the problem is, is that did since it wasn't like working and it wasn't showing up like we couldn't have done anything like the company never said anything so the managers obviously they never said anything to like the associates um even the district managers like there's a whole lack of communication that took place and it costed me in uh like in our store like almost like seven hundred dollars but luckily i got like four hundred dollars back like after that transaction so i usually like i i do my job i'm good at my job I don't stress over numbers, but that just, just a little salt in the wound, <laughs> just a little salt because I'm like, oh, dang it, but that's okay. It happens. Um, but our, our new manager, um, she's like very sweet. We love her. She's wonderful. Um, but hopefully they do consider doing the whole ASM. Uh, kind of thing, but they want me to work like every single weekend and I'm just like, oh, I don't want to do every single weekend I right now I work every other weekend um, But it's just too much girl. It's crazy. I don't even want to talk about it anymore <laughs> And and now that Emma's gone like what are we gonna talk about? I'm sure I'm sure there'll be a bunch of stuff up It's so like when you're in retail. There's so much stuff that like happens And there's there's never not a dull moment in there <laughs> I also want to start working up on my voice acting stuff again. So I'm doing a course, but I had to kind of like stop doing it for a little bit because I was like moving. I was doing a bunch of things and I'm just like, I'm, I'm nervous, but I'm excited um, if I continue on like that. And this weekend, you guys, I have an outfit because my boyfriend and I were going to be going maybe for dinner um, at like this like very like fancy restaurant. And your girl has gained some weight, so I'm kind of nervous about like wearing stuff. Um, and I'm gonna bring some backup clothes because I feel like as soon as I put it on, I'm gonna get like uncomfortable and I'm gonna get nervous, and then I'm gonna want to take it off. Um, <laughs> so I I will let you guys know how that goes. Um, but I got like a dress, I got some like knee high boots, kind of like girl. I I I'm nervous because my ankles are a little bit bigger, so. <laughs> I'm not like, I'm not um, like thick, thick, but I, my ankles have always been thick ever since I was like a kid. Um, but I'm not like thick, thick, but like it's, it's a little bit like more muscle there. So I don't know the boots. I'm afraid of the boots getting like really tight around my legs, but we'll see. I don't know. I'm nervous, but wish me luck. I, <laughs> I hope that you guys like this video. Maybe please consider like commenting and subscribing. So one day this could be maybe a full-time job. I don't know. We'll see. But if you guys like the video, please do any of those because it really helps me out. And uh, yeah, I will see you all later. Okay. Bye guys.